this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make the best build that works for everyone in NBA 2K24. This build can finish at the rim with ease, getting every contact dunk you could imagine, as well as shoot lights out from anywhere on the floor because this build has the ability to get the best base in the game. It also has the best and fastest dribble moves, which can also break ankles. And most importantly, this build plays amazing defense, making you look like prime Kawhi Leonard and prime LeBron James with the chase down blocks. And to make life easier for you guys, I'll be showing you the best animations, best jump shot, best settings for your build, and even show y'all how to upgrade your build once you have it created. Make sure you guys drop a like for more build videos and click that subscribe button if you are new because almost 90% of you guys who watch my videos every day are not subscribed. Really quick, the NBA playoffs are here, which means it is time to make some money. Last night, I won over $1,000 and you guys can do the same. Download Underdog Fantasy right now. It is the first link in the description. And when you sign up, use my promo code CLUTCH because they will match any deposit up to $100. And all new users who use my code CLUTCH will get specials just like this. This is a special for LeBron James to score just one point. Now let's create the build. Once you guys are greeted with this screen, obviously you're gonna click a if you're on xbox and you're gonna click x if you're on playstation if you can make this build a rebirth obviously select yes if you guys don't have rebirth all you have to do is get any build to 90 overall talk to ronnie in the city and then you guys will unlock rebirth if you don't know what rebirth is you guys can read on the screen with me it gives an initial max overall of 90 silver level badges unlocked once attribute requirements are met and you also get five percent badge level progression boost so obviously when you create your build select yes and in this instance, we're creating our own build, so do not use a template or a community build. Create your own. Once you fill out your first and last name, it is time for the handedness of our build. This is all personal preference. I like my players left-handed. You guys do what you like. I'm team left-handed. Jersey number does not matter, so let's continue on. Now, this build actually has two variations that I'm about to show you guys. The first build variation gets the best base in the game. However, the defense isn't as good. But our second build variation doesn't get the best base, but our defense is really good so i'm gonna let you guys decide what build fits your play style more and then you guys can choose from there i will give you all of my opinions what i think is best for what courts to play on and everything like that once we have created the build the first thing we're gonna do is stick with the point guard position the point guard is just the best build in the game height of this build we are going six foot six six foot six point guards have been dominating all year round and the weight for this build we are going minimum weight it's all you need you're the fastest as you can be as well the wingspan of this build we are going to bump this up to seven feet okay seven foot wingspan this is what your custom template should look like and once you have copied it exactly let's continue on now it is time to set our my players potential and like i said this is the first of two build variations of this build starting with our close shot let's bring this up to a 54 now i want you guys to pay attention very carefully because if you don't make it the exact same, it's on you. You feel me? Driving layup, we're going to bring this up to a 74. And for our driving dunk, we're going to bring this up to a 94. So you guys are going to be able to get all the contacts that you guys want. You guys seen in the clips in the intro, we were putting people on the floor like it was nothing. I wasn't even using dunk meter in those clips. I wasn't even in takeover. This build is really fun. Our standing dunk is set to a 39. And then we're not going to touch our post control. We're going to move on to our shooting category. Starting with the mid-range shot, you're going to bring bring this all the way up to a 72 which is very good for our mid-range you don't even need mid-range this year i have green multiple times with a 50 mid-range shot it's really not needed i'm just gonna be honest but our three-point shot we are going to bring this all the way up to an 87 which unlocks tracy mcgrady base tracy mcgrady lower base is the best base in the game it is the most consistent base you can use for your jump shots and that is how i green so consistently our free throw i'm not going to touch this because i play park now if you guys play pro-am if you guys play rec if you guys play anything that includes free throw you guys are going to have to adjust the build accordingly to how you play i'm a park player i like the twos the threes the 1v1 court everything in stage that's where i'm at but if you guys like pro-am rec you guys 
guys just have to adjust the build accordingly. Pass accuracy. I'm going with a 75 pass accuracy because in my opinion, for the park, that is all I need. I got my dimer silver, special delivery silver. That's all I need. Ball handle. We're going to bring this up to a 92 ball handle, which allows you to unlock all the best dribble moves and as well as how fast you are with it. Speed with ball. We're going to bring all the way up to an 80. Now, before we get to the defensive category, remind you, this is build variation one. You guys get that Tracy McGrady base, which you need a minimum of an 87 three-point rating. So obviously, we're going to take a hit on defense. So let me just cook this build and then I'll explain everything. Starting with the interior defense, we're going to skip this. This build does not have interior defense, but I'm going to explain. Perimeter defense, we're going to bring this all the way up to an 85, which is pretty solid. Our steel, we're also going to bring this up to an 85 as well. So you guys are going to get a lot of steals with this build. Our block, we're bringing this all the way up to a 39, which isn't a lot. Offensive rebound, we're going to skip. Defensive rebound, we're going to bring down one. The speed of our build is going to be an 81 speed. We're going to stick with our 66 acceleration because acceleration is pretty useless. We're going to bring our strength up to a 50. We're going to give ourselves an 85 vertical, which allows us to get all those crazy contact dunks. And then our stamina is going to be maxed out to a 99. This is build variation one. Now, as you guys can see, we get a 94 driving dunk, 87 three-point shot, which gives us the best base in the game, Tracy McGrady. A 92 ball handle. You guys can see on the right side, all that good stuff. Now, this build right here specifically, I'm going to use this at the 2v2 court and the 3v3 court. If I'm at the 1v1 court, I still think I could win and go crazy. But if you guys aren't the greatest with interior defense, you guys might get torched on the defense event if you are playing at the 1v1 court. But build variation one is definitely a 2v2 court and a 3v3 court build, which, like I said, gives you that highest three-point rating, which gives you the best base in the game. Our first build variation is called a floor spacing slasher. And then how I would upgrade this build going from a 60 all the way to an 85 overall if you don't have rebirth but if you guys do have rebirth like i said you guys get to a 90 overall i will let you guys finish off those extra five overall on your own but the first thing i'm gonna do is bring my driving dunk all the way up to a 90 because off the rip you guys are gonna be able to get crazy dunks our three point shot we're gonna max this out so you guys can shoot super good off the rip with that tracy mcgrady base i'm gonna skip over to our stamina because we need that stamina we don't want to be gasping for air after doing one dribble move i'm gonna upgrade my vertical as well just so we can get those contact dunks before we're an 85 overall. Definitely gonna need to run some perimeter defense. And then we're gonna upgrade our ball handle to an 82 so we can get those good dribble moves and not dribble like a bum. And then I'm going to upgrade my ball handle only up to an 80 just for right now. And then I'm gonna bring my speed with ball up just a little bit so we're not as slow. And then I'm gonna upgrade my pass accuracy all the way to a 75. So we're not throwing Stevie's as soon as we get into the park. I just realized we're not going to an 80 overall. We're going to an 85 overall. So whoa, we got a lot more to upgrade i would max out my ball handle to a 92 which gives us an 82 overall and then i would max out my speed so we're not super slow and that puts us at an 84 overall and we have a little bit left over to upgrade i think a safe bet if you guys want a bigger green window when you're going for a dunk which doesn't take up much and just like that you're an 85 overall if you guys want to screenshot this right here this is what i would do to get to an 85 and then if you guys got your rebirth you can get to a 90 and then you can upgrade for however you like now the playmaking moves that i use on this build starting with our pass style none you don't need it dribble style i use pro signature size up i use Dwayne wade regular breakdown combo i use penny hardaway aggressive breakdown combo i use michael jordan escape moves kemba walker combo moves De'Aaron fox crossover kobe bryant behind the back jamal murray spin penny hardaway hesitation kobe bryant step back john wall these are really good dribble moves you guys seen in the clips how i've been dribbling and then for my dribble pull up whenever i like to fade away i use pro 2 and these are my playmaking moves make sure you guys copy these playmaking moves if you like how i dribble now it is time to give you guys the best settings now this is all personal preference for vibration but i like mine turned on i kind of get a better feel of the ball whenever i'm dribbling shot timing shots and layup free throw timing user timing Timing, shot timing visual cue this is all personal preference i love set point turn off that shot meter so you guys get a bigger green window by 20 percent layup meter can stay on shot meter location to the side shot meter size large if you guys do use it and then we're going to go into our settings and then you guys need to turn on shot feedback all shots so then if you miss you guys can tell if you're shooting slightly early slightly late late early etc you guys need to see this every single time you shoot so you guys get a better chance at greening your next shot now for the best jump shot you guys can possibly get with this 87 three-point rating base tracy mcgrady 
upper release one, Oscar Robertson, upper release two, Sadiq Bey. Our release speed and our animation blending, we got four out of four speed, which is the fastest you can possibly make it. And then our animation blending is 75% Oscar Robertson and 25% Sadiq Bey. If you guys choose build variation one, I highly recommend you guys equipping this jump shot. But if you guys go with build variation two, I will also give you guys my favorite jump shot to use for all builds that don't get Tracy McGrady. Now that we are back at the builder screen, it is time to show you guys build variation number two. Now we're gonna select this, select yes if you have rebirth, Create your own build, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Hand in this left jersey number doesn't matter. Let's continue on. Point guard, six foot six, same as the last build. Minimum weight with a seven foot wingspan, and then we're gonna continue on to set our my player's potential. Now for our close shot, we're gonna go with a 54 again, and then we're gonna bring our driving layup to a 74. And then actually, the only thing that's different, our driving dunk is just gonna be a 93 instead of a 94. So our driving category does not take a big hit at all. Just just go from a 94 to a 93 and that is it that's what we stay at our standing dunk even stays the same as well now it is time for our shooting category we're gonna bring this up to a 72 just like our last build but our three-point shot is going to go to a 76. Now, if you guys struggle with shooting with a very low three-point rating, build variation one is going to be your go-to build. However, if you guys can shoot consistently with a low three-point rating, build variation two is going to be your go-to build just because the defensive category clears the first build variation. But I know there's a lot of people out there that like an 87 three-pointer versus a 76. Personally, what you guys might ask, Clutch, what do you use? I like build variation number two. Like I say, I like this other jump shot that I use, base JT Thor. I've been using that since 2K23, which was base Lamella Ball. But you guys know that for 24, they just switched it to JT Thor. So for my opinion, if you guys want the answer, like I said, I'm going with build variation number two. So let's continue on with this build. Free throw, let's bring this all the way up to a 62. Now for our playmaking category, we're going to do the exact same thing. 75 pass accuracy, uh, and then we're going to bring Bring our ball handle all the way up to a 92 our speed with ball will go up to an 80 as well and then once we do that we're gonna bring our interior defense to a 50 so you at least got interior defense on this build now we're gonna bring our perimeter defense to an 87 which ultimately is higher than you know the first build variation our steel is going to stay the same with an 85 steel. We're going to bring our block all the way up to a 70, which allows us to get those chase down blocks. So the build that you guys saw the clips with, most of those clips were with this build variation number two. But also, you guys got to see me use that Tracy McGrady base with me looking like LeBron. I have both builds, okay? I've been using both of these, and I love them both. It really just depends if you want that Tracy McGrady base with an 87 three-point rating, which I just don't blame you. You know what I'm saying? It's a really good jump shot. It's very consistent. Offensive rebound, got to bring this to a 26. You just have to. Defensive rebound, we're going to bring this all the way to a 49. Our speed, same, 81. Acceleration, 67. Strength, 50. 85 vertical, which allows you to jump out that motherfucking gym. Then our stamina bring this to a 99. Now, some people don't like to go 99 stamina. Some people work with the 93 or something. And you guys can put them other attributes on something else. Personally, I like having my stamina because I know how it is after dribbling. Your player literally wants to die after three crossovers. So, let's continue on with build variation two. Build variation two is called a two-way slasher. Now, here is the best jump shot for the 76 three-point rating. Our lower base is JT Thor. Upper release one is Sadiq Bey. Upper release two is James Harden. This is the trick for me for the lower three-point ratings. I like to go three out of four release speed. You guys can see it's not the fastest jump shot it can be. It is three out of four speed. To me, this is the perfect feeling for this, you know, lower three-point rating jump shot. So try this out if you guys do go with build variation two. Animation blending is 50-50. The dribble moves and animations are the exact same as well as the settings for this build. So make sure you guys copy the exact settings, exact animations, exact jump shots for this specific build. And just like that, I have given you guys the best build with all the best tips and tricks that I can give you guys. Like I said, if I would choose a build, I would go with build variation too as you get the better defense and you guys can play literally at any court and have as much fun as you want. If you guys do end up liking this build, come back to the video and comment i love this build clutch just so i know if you guys really rock with it don't forget to click that subscribe button as you guys can see we are on this road to 700 000 subscribers i love you all so much thank you guys so much for watching and with that being said i will see you all in the next one peace
Hey, if y'all boys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys check out the brand new video on the screen. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram or Twitter, go do that right now. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.